So we're about to get underway in this matchup. Maybe a show of sportsmanship to start things off. Well, you always love to see a match start off this way, but apparently we're not going to get good sportsmanship. Byron, is this what you would consider mind games? Well, it sure seems like it. I'm not sure it's going to work, though. Bell sounds, and let's see if any sort of begrudging respect comes out of this one after the display we just saw. Yeah, well, this business isn't about making friends, Cole. Sometimes you have to draw a line in the sand and let others know, I'm not your friend, pal. It's not pretty, but it's effective. And she's stunned to the corner, countering the queen. Yeah. Why did you hear that thud? A powerbomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Up and... Wheelbarrow face buster! Man, Penny predicament shoulders down. She's not going to go that quietly. She goes back inside the ropes. Quick exchange of counters there. Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper! Showing the world just how much fight she's got the left. Uh-oh, she's going to be setting up for a submission here. An uncanny sh you got to respect her continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. to get the advantage here. Corey, do you have any insight on Charlotte Flair's mindset in this one? Charlotte wants more than a win. She wants to assert her dominance. People pretend they don't know just how superior Charlotte Flair is. So sometimes she needs to remind them. So ruthless. Into the cover. Kick out at one. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Oh, mounting and down. Just hammered away with the rights. Elbows right to the forehead. Striking at will. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. She flips it back on her. Nasty chop delivered by Sean. Followed by natural. She could pin her opponent right here. Gets the shoulder up. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. This could be it. Cover. Charlotte's still in this. Still no end in sight here. A nice shot by Shanna Baszler. Look at this. Deadlifting their opponent into a, a gun red suplex, but not done yet. Holding on. Suplex. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Going up to the top, what are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in, oh my oh. god. And Charlotte being met with defiance there. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Big clothesline. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Charlotte Flair making clear she has her number. Shayna showing her technique. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to. Can she do it here? She breaks the count quick. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Show it with the spear. And will this be it? Win! A big win! That took a huge effort. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair. Everyone 
brace yourselves. Something tells me we're going to be hearing a I told you so for quite some time pulling off this upset. I think a true congratulations is in order. Sure, they were disrespectful earlier, but that clearly didn't hurt their game. In fact, if anything, it might have given them more of that competitive edge. We are about to see something good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 291 pounds, Ryan Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Frazier, sure knows how to soar. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard-hitting truths. I like this guy. He flew across the world as a teenager to train with Seth Rollins. Now he's set to follow in his mentor's footsteps. superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person to be looking to convince tonight. And his opponent is the young Nathan Frazier, who's really been pegged as one to watch since arriving here. See him in the ring and you'll understand why. Frazier has challenged champions and heavy hitters since day one. No... Uh-oh. And he's able to count both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Vicious right forearm. Able to avoid any harm there. Back, back stutter. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Springboard corkscrew crossbody. And a shoulder in the air. He's far from fit. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing hard. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Enough already. 
And we know Nathan Frazier is all heart, but not exactly the biggest competitor. Corey, you think his size is going to play a factor in this one, potentially put an even bigger target on him? Well, it's not like we haven't seen smaller superstars scale the peaks of WWE, Cole, but a smart opponent can always find a way to use something like this against you. Emphasis on smart. Good timing with that reversal. Springboard moonsault. Not done yet. How about the headlock elbow drop? Fearless display from Frazier. Oh, yeah, this kid's got the... If this lands, it's over. Moved out of the way that can change the whole complexion of this match. Ah, uh, left into a German. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Oh, jeez, falling hard to the outside. I don't care how much padding the floor seems to have. Being thrown out of the ring like that is incredibly unforgiving to your body. Uh-oh. Frazier gets met with a response. Oh, bear hug. Bear hug. Well-placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Great reversal. And now gets tossed into the ring. Stomping down. The life left in Nathan might be out. Nathan retaliates. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Well, right to the throat. Ooh. Back elbow. See, did you see that? Shoulders down. And there's the kick out. It'll take more than that to hold him down. starting to weigh down on him. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, and Seguri. He, he can do it here. And he gets the shoulder up before two. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. With the reversal. Nice clothesline. Into the cover. Oh. And Nathan Frazier will just have to accept this loss. All the hard work, all the guts, in the end, it just wasn't enough for Nathan Frazier. Yeah, but someone had to be the loser, and tonight, it was him. Blair Davenport, the self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division.
A mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Well, we know Blair Davenport has a boundless capacity for savagery, and I'm pretty sure it's about to be placed on display here tonight. Here's a woman who has plans to send a message to the women's locker room every time she steps into the ring. Yeah, hoping to strike fear in the hearts of the entire division as she's done in the past. Has been a master of mind games already and she's only getting started. And her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! She's won multiple titles. She's the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. She's married to the best commentator in the history of the business. Carmella is proof you can have it all. She's not married to me, Corey. Shut up, Cole. of many self-proclaimed monikers, but you have to admit, she's made a career out of backing up all of her bravado for better or for worse. Maybe put some respect on her name from now on, Cole. Carmella is the princess of Staten Island. She is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, and most importantly, she's an absolute force to be reckoned with. That's just the kind of impartial announcing that people love to hear, Corey. And opposite her, oozing frightening intensity is Blair Davenport. This menacing superstar always climbs into the ring with sky high. Wow, she lands hard. Back body draw. Oh, you see the height on that? Look at that raw strength. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Oh, and she turns it around. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. She's taking things to ringside. And a slap for the exclamation point. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Davenport's plans for division domination clearly being challenged with that. She set back in under the ropes. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Mella able to defend against that. Carmella fighting back. These two battling to a dead heat with these reverses. Held in a perilous position. Piercing the throat. And that stops whatever Blair had intended. No way. Suicide dive. Absolutely 
throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Just disrespectful. <laughs> Carmella with a Mello Buster. And like clockwork, Mello was, is, and always will be money with that move. A mounting. And hammering away. Forced the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. And gets tossed back into the mat. Referee's count stop. She stays in this. Just barely pulled. High angle belt. Throws down. Could she finally put this away? And she's able to stop the count early. She is showing us something special here tonight. And able to counter. Carmella with a super kick. The lights are given for Davenport. The most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! Carmella standing tall after that win. Whether you like it or not, you gotta give it up for Carmella. With more beauty than a museum of fine art, Mella gets the win. Put respect on my goddess's damn name. Here comes the mangy mutt of the brawling brutes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the brawling brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. Bush! A master of joint manipulation and technical savagery. You know the old saying, Cole, you can't judge a book by its mangy cover. Butch ain't wrapped right, okay? He's not quite all there. Yeah, but that's what makes him so dangerous. Here comes the money. And his opponent from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the NXT. UK champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Make no mistake, behind all the wealth is one of the best technical wrestlers in WWE history. If he can't buy a victory tonight, the Million Dollar Man can earn it too.
The winner's bonus tonight is pocket change to Ted DiBiase, but he still fights for every dollar he earns. Yeah, you can't underestimate the motivation of the million dollar man. Here we go with the million dollar man in the ring, a superstar who claims that everybody has a price. The million dollar man has spent his career using fat stacks of cash to get his way in this industry. Well, hopefully tonight he has to really put his money where his mouth is because I think a lot of people are tired of how he seems to always get his way. It, the Kimura, the Kimura. A Kimura lock. He doesn't yeah. have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Placed in the corner. Oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Figure four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. Script on him there. Oh, close line. The million dollar man with that million dollar confidence. Go on, Cole, do the laugh. No fat cover, cover. And he powers out. He really thought that was it. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And DiBiase is showing off his skills. Wow, Butch's short fuse leading to mistakes as his opponent takes advantage. Just launched. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Back and forth from these competitors. Butch at a disadvantage. Suplex Whoa. attempt. Able to go behind, though. From behind, chop block. And Butch is no stranger to riling people up. And Butch, and he goes for the pin. Big kick out. This could be a tipping point in this match. Scoop slam. Making the climb to the middle rope. Carefully placed elbow. Some win tonight, but I believe they could be hurt. And even the winner looking worse for wear after a brutal matchup. I got a feeling this superstar is going to be feeling the effects from this matchup for a long, long time. And all we can do in this moment is hope that the damage is not too severe.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. The longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in history. You know, Carter and Chance were a team long before NXT even had a women's tag team division. And it's paid off because this team is the team to beat in all of WWE. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. And their opponents, first from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? I reserve my comment. Saxton? Well, a feel-good story every time Tegan Knox competes. The mightiest superhero in all of WWE. And from parts unknown, Mighty Molly! Straight out of the comic book. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, she even has super hearing. Watch this. Hi, Molly. Uh, but she must be eavesdropping on Evil Dovers. Uh, She'll say hi later. Yeah, that's it. I bet she will. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too. And, and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bred. Kick to the gut creates separation. Sent into the corner. Wrist lock and they'll turn it into a oh, oh, catapulted down on the opponent. Goes into the pin. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Boom. She manages to get control. Knox with a reversal. Oh, what are they doing here? All the way up. Sit out, Gord Buster. She gets it. Super kick. Good night. Oh, God, that hurt. Hit the ropes. Oh, running knee strike. Oh, what a counter. Tegan caught by surprise. Delivers a kick right to the gut off the ropes. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. Cover, cover. Kick out just in time. She's still as determined as ever. Comes in off the tag. She's 
pushed into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first. Knox has to avoid that kind of offense if she wants to be in this match. And that unique style of Carter's paid off. Oh, quite an effective counter. <laughs> what a forearm. Oh, hanging off for dear life. Whoa! Picture perfect example. She can end it here. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Single leg drop kick. The arm absorbing the damage. DDT spiked. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Caden Carter looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, Caden needs to rethink her strategy fast. A pinpoint kick to the back. Oh, well scouted by Tegan. Using their boot. What a counter! She is going to look to press on the advantage. If Carter was looking for an opportunity to pull 180, that could be it. Tossed into the corner. Oh my God! Fake first right into the buckle. Shoulders down. This could be it. And she kicks out at two. Somehow, some way. Ah, uh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Ooh. She turns it around on Carter. She's in. Hits the drop kick. Real face buster. Solid punch. Ow. On the attack from behind. Textbook neck breaker. Uh oh. troubles. Ah, uh, wrist lock up to the top rope. Big clothesline. She's going for it. Kick out. She still has life. What a match. I think we are witnessing a career-altering moment for these superstars, guys. Well, the spoils will only go to the victor, and I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. Into the corner now. Counter from Carter. Hanging back with their own counter. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Saw that one coming. With authority. There's a tag. That'll ring your bell. Shot delivered by Tegan Knox. Shadiest wizard. Exclamation delivered by Knox.
Here are your winners. The team of Tegan Knox and Mighty Molly. Not for lack of effort, but Katana Chance and Caden Carter just couldn't get the win tonight. Gives you hope for the future of the tag division. Great tag team action on display, guys. The most extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty deadly has arrived. Say it with me, gentlemen. Yes, boy. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kim Wilson, Dominated the NXT UK and NXT tag divisions as soon as they arrived. These two have a certain style and a je ne sais quoi opponents just lack. Despite their outfits and antics, this is a highly competent and accomplished tag team. Hopefully they can focus on their in-ring work here tonight. They've shown their focus every single match, Saxton. Pretty deadly are everything their name says they are and more. Come on, hi. Wow. One of the very best to ever do it. Shawn Michaels.
and their opponents. First, from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the WWE European Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Michaels has enjoyed a lengthy and impressive career defined by memorable and historic victories. A back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winner, the first ever Grand Slam champion. Competed in the first ever ladder match. I hate to cut you off, Michael, but HBK's accolades could go on all night. He's a true inspiration, a shining light in this business. The lethal Lothario, Umberto. A high-flying heartbreaker. And representing Los Lotharios from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Umberto. An athlete who is both captivating and handsome. A true smooth operator between the ropes with lethal ability. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. Classy, posh, debonair. I could go on. Show some respect for pretty deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Kent Wilson, Elton Prince, two young men from across the pond who consider themselves a class above the rest of their peers. Honestly, they're both imbeciles most of the time, but even I can't deny how talented they are in the ring when they're not making fools of themselves, that is. And if you're a team that wants to learn how to work as one, this should be a match to study. This is a match to take notes on. As a team, you always have to be on the same page, but in this one, you can expect to see teams on the same sense. Placing them into the corner. Impressive reversal from Michaels. Oh, an inverted atomic drop. Very nice. Ooh, again. He's That's in off the tag. Oh, reversal catches Umberto. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Oh! That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. And a series of vicious stomps. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. He went right into that turnbuckle. Punishing the leg. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Oh, this, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Come on! He can end it here. What? No, a kick out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, stun gun. Hurricanrana. Oh, back elbow in the cover. No, he kicks out. Got to change something up with the pin technique. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Easy kick. Oh, no, it's roll up! And he breaks the count quickly. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Placed into the corner. 
Oh, over and over, knees in the corner. Oh, that's man. relentless. Right to the kidneys from behind. He's taking some good hits. He's able to sidestep there. Russian leg sweep. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Oh, ouch. And a kick. Devastating. Standing moonsault! It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Great agility. Why not look like a million bucks when hitting something that effective? A running hurry Colorado! Beautiful. Kid is in a distressing spot. Every form of offense Wilson attempts is being neutralized. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Wilson felt that coming. And he sends him into the corner. each other's sentences, they finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Hammer it away! And he's able to reverse. Kick to the gut. Hammerlock applied. Suplex. Tag made. Tandem offense on its way. Up across the shoulders. Oh, a gut buster. Here's a cover. Could be it. He stops the count for his partner. He's heading up top. Thinking good. Taking flight. What? Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Oh! Sent straight into the barricade. Target in the art now. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Suplex right on the arm. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. But power. Well, the official calls a double count out. Should have.
symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. And here he comes. And his opponent from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT Champion, Adam Cole! Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. He is about to face what some call the gatekeeper of this industry. Well, anyone who thinks they're any good has to prove it first against Seth freaking Rollins. And while this is a non-title matchup, let's not ignore that the champion has quite the chip on their shoulder coming into this. Yeah, they'll be able to walk out of this one with their title regardless, but you know they'd rather get the win and prove they really are the top dog in this division. You're right, Corey. They're definitely not going to want to be shown up in this one. But he is in the ring with a visionary, with a revolutionary in Seth freaking Rollins. And you can't undersell just how much that changes the complexion of this match. Seth freaking Rollins is perhaps the most well-rounded competitor in WWE. When it comes to athleticism, his in-ring IQ, and game planning, nobody can match Seth freaking Rollins. Bowling oh, knee right to the face! Oh, man. Oh, counters right into the breadbasket. He's returning fire. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Yeah. Seth retaliates. He's got him down. Is this it? And he easily stops the ref's count. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Good technique reversing Rollins. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Side rush and leg sweep. Rollins believes a lot of his own hype, but the hype is certainly warranted. What does it take to topple the self-proclaimed visionary? You need to be on your game. For all his bravado, Seth Rollins absolutely has the skills to back it up, and it is crucial that you meet him at his level. Out of the way in time. Point of the elbow, nailed it. And it's 
reverse pain for that mistake. And we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You could say that again. Time to get the lead out. Takedown. Put it with a cross face. It cinched it. Looking to free the arm and does just that. Oh, here it comes. Last shot. Seth's eyes look glazed over. Look at for the victory. Two. Hangs on by a thread. I cannot believe it, Corey. Seth Rollins is still alive. Next level four. Oh, right, right, so down. It's cinched. Looking to free the arm and does just that. right hand. Panthers with it in Zaguri. Crashing to the floor. He's looking a little weary now. Typical crafty Whoa. offense from Rollins as this match goes on. Three. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Can't prepare your face for that. Oh, he retaliates. Whoa. Just like that, Rollins dodges. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And the counter from Rollins. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Choose any Seth Rollins nickname you want. They're all true. And the WWE Universe can't deny it. Ouch. Rollins lining up. Then the knee finds the mark. He can end it here! He's got him. Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. A victory here in this one for Seth Rollins. Rollins feeling the energy of the WWE Universe as they celebrate his victory. I better not hear you singing his theme, Saxton. Well, the great one has arrived. It's check-in time at the SmackDown Hotel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The Rock! You know, we always say you never know who's going to show up inside the NXT arena. But I don't think anyone expected this man. Think of all the members of the Rock's family that have competed in the Hallow Halls of NXT. From the Usos to Roman Reigns, now the Rock himself stepping foot inside the NXT ring. The Brana Bull has an immense amount of momentum behind him. Yeah, and you can see that he's dead set on re... Here comes the rattlesnake. <laughs> Give me a heck yeah! You're gonna get stunned again, Saxton. 
And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Attitude and defiance personified. The blue collar warrior for the common man. Guys, Stone Cold does not appear to be in a good mood tonight. I mean, when is he ever? Good point. One of the greatest rivalries in the history of our industry reignited as Stone Cold Steve Austin battles The Rock. Two superstars that many people thought would never lace him up again. Both since return to action. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have chills. These two have written their names in WWE history and left their marks on this business. They have nothing left to prove or accomplish. Gentlemen, this is just about pride. He's been placed in the corner now. Reversal, can they go on the attack? And that was an effective attack, guys. Ouch, that's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. The arm getting pummeled. Rock moves in the nick of time. Down with the bulldog. Stone Cold too slow there. Hooked up, and DDT. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Now trampling the opposition. He's one step ahead there. And now he rolls out, looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. That's just running away. And Austin waited a lot longer to make his comeback than the Rock did. You have to wonder if his sea legs are where they need to be. Oh, but as Austin found out, it's like riding a bike. And he's ridden this particular bike a lot. So he has to do what he did then. Keep up the pressure and pull out any and all stops to overcome the great one. Because The Rock will be doing the same. Look at this, just unloading. And that one busted up Austin too. And a Oof. stop to the gut too. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. And breaks out of the sleeper. Right to the kidneys from behind. He's getting a little batter now. Stone cold, not even a little close to backing down here. And he's taking this to the outside now. And dropping bombs. Absolutely vicious offense from Stone Cold. One, Down to Bonus. And a double axe handle smash. Smart attacking the arm. Oh, man. He avoids the damage. Boom, slam. With authority. Like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. The Rock somehow got the shoulder up. Yeah, but now comes the hard part. The Rock has to get himself back in this. Austin is in a state of disbelief. Thought he had this match in hand, but it will continue. Perched up top. 
Nobody home. He thinks he has it. Wards off the pin at two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Nice counter by Austin. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Straight impact on the throat. And The Rock is getting dismantled. And The Rock just can't keep up with Austin's pace. Caught with that sharp elbow. And The Rock is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Now's a chance for The Rock to get back into this match. And there was some force on that move. This rattlesnake's humming now. Nothing can stop Stone Cold. Stone Cold with a well-timed shot. Austin building up speed. The rattlesnake strikes. Austin knows it'll take going all out to keep the rock down. The rattlesnake's coiled, aimed at the rock. Austin stop him. Stone Cold with a stutter. Will Stone Cold? What a win, what a hard-fought battle we just experienced. I'm not sure how well this superstar is gonna take the loss, or maybe not too bad at all. That's what you love to see. Great sportsmanship after a spectacular match. Zia Lee is not here to make friends. She is here to compete. One of a kind in this division is a vicious, dangerous martial artist and master of wushu. She is more than ready to be the master of the squared circle. in WWE than Zia Lee. Zia Lee is ready for the women's division and the WWE Universe to take notice of her hard work and skill.
Alexa Bliss is here. One of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. She's held the SmackDown, Raw, and women's tag titles on multiple occasions each. The second woman in WWE history to win the women's triple crown. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. With her extensive martial arts training and razor sharp focus inside the ring, Xia Li is a threat to any superstar. She has an exceptional work ethic and is constantly looking to sharpen her abilities, hone her craft, and become even more dangerous. The intensity of Xia Li can be pretty intimidating. You see that intensity on the face of Xia now. She means business. But then we've got one of the craftiest competitors the women's division has ever seen, Alexa Bliss. Whether mentally or physically, she will find a way to get the better of you. That's one of the many things I respect about Bliss. She doesn't hold back once she sets her sights on a goal. She knows that nothing comes easy here in WWE, and if she wants something, she has to take it. Xia Li can be so dangerous with her strikes and kicks. Absolutely, Cole. That's why you've got to cut her off at the pass before she can really get going. Don't engage in her striking match against Xia Li because chances are you'll lose. One response after another, back and forth we go. Return fire from Alexa. Uh-oh. Look out. Oh. Simple but effective. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Yeah, Alexa just ramped up her intensity. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Disgusting behavior. There was no recover. Four, three. Wow. Both arms captured and vitriolic stumps. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. Ball. Distress showing on the face of Xia Li. She is doing an excellent job at cutting off Xia Li at the pass. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Arm drag, takedown. Uh-oh. Look out. Ah, oh, backbreaker. She's staying elusive. Xia Li is looking to deflate her opponent. Dominating shoulder tackle. Alexa is really keeping the pressure on. Bliss is executing her game plan. Ah, oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. Sidekick on the mark. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. She scores big with the counter. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. Uh, Cranking the head. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And Bliss may be thinking of mind games there when she should have focused on physical offense. And look at four. Back, suplex. Ooh, very nice. Lee is going up top. From the top. All the way to the outside. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A, like it. Setting up for something here. 
Uh-oh. No! There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ooh! Insult to injury. Whoa! Oh, into a powerbomb. A powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Count out may be imminent here. Really testing fate right now. If this works, guys, Alexa Bliss is your winner. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. The out of the ring count getting the best of them tonight. It would have been great to see a pinfall or submission win here. Quite a shame it ended by count out.